we're asked to write the given quadratic function in vertex form. Notice right now the quadratic function is in general form. To write the function in vertex form, we will not complete the square. We will use the formula shown here to determine the vertex. Once we have the vertex, this will give us the values of h and k in vertex form, and a in vertex form is the same value as a in general form. Let's begin by determining the values of a, b, and c in the given quadratic function. a is the coefficient of x squared, and therefore a is equal to negative two. b is the coefficient of x, which is positive 12, and c is the constant term, which because of the minus five is negative five. The next step is to determine the equation of the axis of symmetry given by x equals negative b divided by two a. This x value also gives us the x coordinate of the vertex because remember, the vertex is on the axis of symmetry. So for x equals negative b divided by two a, for our function, b is 12 and a is negative two, which gives us negative 12 divided by two times negative two, which simplifies to negative 12 divided by negative four, which equals three. So now we know the vertex has an x-coordinate of three. And again, in vertex form, the x-coordinate of the vertex gives us the value of h, and the y-coordinate gives us the value of k. To determine the y-coordinate of the vertex, we need to determine the function value at x equals three, which is f of negative b divided by two a. So in our case, the y-coordinate of the vertex is equal to f of three. Performing substitution, we have negative two times the square of three plus 12 times three minus five. Simplifying, the square of three is nine. Nine times negative two is negative 18, plus 12 times three is 36 minus five. Negative 18 plus 36 is 18. 18 minus five is 13. 13 is the y-coordinate of the vertex. And again, we know a is equal to negative two. This is all the information we need to write the quadratic function in vertex form. In vertex form, we have f of x equals a, which is negative two, times the quantity x minus h squared, which is the quantity x minus three squared, and plus k is plus 13. This is the given quadratic function in vertex form. Let's check this graphically. To do this, we graph the quadratic function in vertex form, which gives us this graph. Notice how the vertex is the ordered pair three comma 13, which is what we found using the general form of the quadratic function. Also, because a is negative two, Notice how the parabola does open down. And then finally, if you go back to the general form of the quadratic function, again, notice that c is equal to negative five, which does give us a vertical intercept. And notice how the parabola does intersect the vertical axis or y-axis at the ordered pair zero comma negative five. And this should make sense because to determine the vertical intercept of any function, we always set x equal to zero or determine the function value f of zero. If we substitute zero for x, we do get a function value of negative five. I hope you found this helpful.